Hey everyone, welcome to Immu Talk. We are your hosts, Christina and Alona, and today we're here with three scientists to talk about sickle cell disease, or SCD, and the immune system. And as always, you run the show. So join in on the conversation by asking us questions on our Twitter at Emu Talk, and we'll be sure to answer your questions. So ladies, SCD, it causes a deformity of red blood cells, or RBCs, making them hook-shaped instead of the regular donut shape. We know this disease is a big topic in hematology, but tell me, is it relevant to immunology at all? Yes, there's definitely some immunology involved. It will come up in topics such as blood transfusions, malaria immunity, ischemia development, and blood clotting. Wow, that's lots to talk about. And with that, let's get to our first question. Eileen asks, I know someone with SCD can experience a lot of pain. What's the mechanism behind that? Thank you for your question, Eileen. A patient will experience something called severe pain crisis when sickle cells pile up and form a blood clot in the blood vessel. The blood flow will be blocked and the patient will experience extreme pain until the body clears out the clot. While painkillers do help um, tolerate the pain, they have no choice but to endure it until it goes away. Um, clots can happen anywhere where there's lots of blood flow, like the spleen, for example. Hmm. Is there a reason you bring up the spleen? Uh, this is actually where the immunology comes in. Um, you see, we get a lot of our important immune cells, like B cells, from the spleen. Um, and when this organ is clogged, it prevents them from circulating the body to recognize and tag infectious microbes for destruction. In this way, SCD patients are actually more at risk for bacterial infections. Oh, I can imagine that causes a lot of issues. And we just got our second question. Joanna asks, apart from infections, what other problems can a person with SCD be at risk for? Great question, Joanna. So SCD is also involved in tissue ischemia. This is a condition where complications in the blood vessels will cause oxygen deprivation in tissue. Blood vessel complications, where does the immune system come in? So because of the shape of sickle cells, they tend to pile up and cause obstruction in the blood vessels. So the immune system will actually encourage inflammation. It will signal um, sickle cells to express adhesion molecules, and these adhesion molecules will stick to the lining of the blood vessels. As a result, blood clots are harder to clear, and oxygen delivery to that part of the body is affected. So this will cause um, dysfunction and also damage. Also, initiation by inflammation causes the release of the two signals, TNF and IL-1, which promotes the formation of adhesion molecules. In patients with SCD, the levels of these signaling molecules are elevated. And there you have it, folks, sickle cell disease and the current immunology we know behind it. Thank you for watching, and if you have any ideas for future topics, please leave us a comment down below. And on that note, see you next time.